Come on, what's happening? Hi, love. Oh. Is that better? Uh, How are you? You okay? I'm okay. Um, I've heard that you've been going out a lot recently. Yeah, I have. It's, it's been lovely. Well, this morning it was raining quite a lot, but uh, it's been really, the sun's been shining. No, you're supposed to stay at home. Like, it's COVID, it's serious, it's life and death. If, if you're saying it's life and death, then surely an interpreter should be provided? I think you're right. But it's serious. It's life and death. Where's the information? Hmm? Where's, where's the information? Because... Our action plan to beat the pandemic is right. Oh, so if I didn't know, how many others didn't know? But we know people are worrying about work and money, incomes, working closely with businesses and unions, trade unions. We have put together a coherent, coordinated, and comprehensive in our comic plan. There's not good preparation. Back employers like um, Blue Dog, Thompson and uh, Pratt. If the interpreter's separate, is the information true? Is it spot on? Is it 100%? Some will get the virus 
without even knowing it. They were hard to banish with no symptoms at all. Of those who get the symptom, the current majority, probably 80%, will have a mild or moderate disease. Might be bad enough for them to have to go to bed for a few days, but not bad enough for them to have to go to the doctors. My brother had got COVID. An unfortunate minority will have to go as far as the hospital, but the majority of those will just need oxygen and won't then leave hospital. And then a minority of those will end up having to go to severe and critical care and some of those will sadly die. But that's a minority. Angry, pissed off, fuming, stressed. In chaos, irritated, confused, and worried, of course, because of not knowing what's going on. There was a rumour that said the army will march in there. <laughs> the army? Really? <laughs> Why can't they be bothered? Feels like we're second class. We are here. We are ready. Interpreters need to be in the room for the briefings. That's equality. That's a fundamental human right.